Why am I dark? Why is it so dark in here? <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Trying to get my lighting right so it doesn't look so dark. He's so dark. Oh well, good enough. I'll just have to deal. How's everybody doing on this Monday? Hopefully everybody's doing well. Survived another weekend. All right, I have Primer. I'm going to prime my face before I apply my makeup. We just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And I always prime my lids. I'm a little earlier than usual. But I have to go and help my sister set up her new tablet. She recently got Wi-Fi. And she wants to join the world of technology. So I have to go over there and give her a crash course. Our primer is absolutely wonderful. And if you have any extra on your hands, put it in your hair. It's good for your hair. It's good for your skin. And make sure you let it dry for at least five minutes before applying your foundation and what what the primer does is it fills in all your fine lines and your pores so that when you apply your foundation it doesn't get caked into those and amplifies them makes them look worse than they actually are and when you get older you want to decrease the look of fine lines and you don't want the makeup getting in there and making them look deeper than they already are all right, so always use a primer. We have a very good primer, and you can choose this as one of your choices in December's bundle this month. You can choose this or one of our powder or cream to um, powder sticks. And if you're just starting out, I'd suggest getting the primer. All right. All right, well... It's cold. It's very cold outside, and my skin is very dry today. So, what I'm going to use is my BB Flawless um, Complexion Enhancer Cream. This is a tinted moisturizer for your face, okay? I use Bisque, all right, because I'm fairly light, but there is one lighter than this one, all right? And I'm just going to apply it with my fingers, all right? I'm not going to use a brush. You don't have to use brushes or sponges. You can just apply it the good old fashioned way with your fingers if you'd like. All right, and I'm gonna apply this first before I go up under my bangs. I'm trying to let my hair grow. Just a little bit more before I go and have it styled. I'm going to keep it short, but just trying to let it grow out. And this feels so rich and creamy on your face. Oh my God, it feels so, so good. If you're just looking for light to medium coverage and you just want something with a little tint to it, get the BB cream. So good. And it kind of gives you that dewier finish. But when we plop on our setting powder, that's going to take that away. It's going to give us more of a matte finish. I've already done my brows using my Brunette Brow Palette. I do have a couple of those available on hand, brand new. And I have two different brow artist brushes. One of them's got a spoolie and one of them has a flat end and an angled end on the other side. I have those brand spanking new. If you're interested, let me know. You will not have to pay shipping. 
They are $39 for a palette. I'm willing to sell them for $30. No shipping. And they last a long time. A long, long time. All right, there's my BB cream. Absolutely love this stuff. And the brow palette, the brunette, looks like this. Comes with a mirror, comes with a darker powder, a lighter powder. I like to kind of blend the two. Comes with the wax. I dip my brush in here and then gather the powders and it kind of turns it to a gel. And you can easily outline your brows and fill in. It also has highlighters that you can clean up underneath the brow. Very nice palette. I have had this since, let's see, doo -doo 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 -doo, probably January or February of last year. Look at that. Not even close to being done. They go a long, long time. All right. So I have my foundation on. And if you wanted to add um, to the coverage of that BB cream, you could easily go over the top with our loose powder foundation. Um, I use the color Camlet. It's fairly light. Um, you could also add a little of our... Where's that? Where's that? A little of our concealer to it to give you that added coverage. But today, I'm just going to do a no-fuss look. So I just added that with my fingers, and that's all I'm going to put on my face, other than my setting powder and my blush and my bronzer. All right, so let's just do a simple look. I'm going to actually do the look that I did on my new daughter-in-law. She got married Friday to my oldest son, and I created this palette because she wanted a natural look. And I created it using our pressed shadows, okay? And this is easily an everyday look that you could wear every day. If you're not into bright colors or smoky eye, this is the palette for you. And you can specifically design your own palette. This is called a quad, all right? It's $52 on my website. And you pick out any four shades that you want. And you'll automatically get this magnetic closure um, palette with it. All right. So to start, I'm going to go all over the lid with discreet. This is a matte nude color. And I'm just going to go all over the lid area, all the way up to the brow. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating a base. And make sure you put a generous amount on there. Okay. And these shadows are already infused with primer. So you don't necessarily need to put special eye primer on your lid. All right. So I have that all over the lid. So now I want to tap in with Gullible. And this is a dark it's not really dark, dark. It's kind of a medium matte brown. And I'm just going to go tap right here in the corner. And I'm going to go all the way across in the crease area. And don't add so much at once because I got to move this light. You can easily build the color. Very pigmented shadow. So I'm just going back and forth like a windshield wiper, just above the lid area in the crease and above, okay? Like so. And now I'm gonna tap into the other side and go back and forth like a windshield wiper. And I'm just using a blending brush. All right. And make sure you have equal color on both lids. If you need to add a little more, add a little more. All 
I have exfoliant on my lips. I'm trying to get the lip stain I had on yesterday off. It is that good. All right. So there's Gullible. And that's like a medium brown matte. I have that in the outer corner and the crease area. All right. Simple. Very simple. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a flatter brush. Let me find one here. All right. And you want just a flat brush like this. And I'm going to dip in to, and I can't remember the name of the shadow. So I'm going to pop it out and take a look at the name. There's little holes in the back, so you can pop them out. <clears throat> Ansi. And this is a, like a, what do I want to say, a metallic light tan color. Very, very nice. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And you need a flat brush because you're just going to kind of press that on. All right, and so we start in the inner corner and we're just pressing it on the lid and make sure you get down by the lashes. And we're gonna go all the way over, almost to the outer corner, but we're gonna leave this open because I'm gonna add some more dark gullible brown there, shade it up. Isn't that pretty? antsy. All right, and I'm just pressing it on. And you don't need a lot on your brush because these shadows are highly pigmented. And I'm almost going to the corner, but I'm not. All right. And so far, I have discrete all over the lid. I have gullible in the crease and I'm applying shimmer ANSI to the lid. Okay? So now I want to tap in with some more of that gullible just in the outer corner. I just want to darken up the outer corner. So I'm kind of tapping and then I'm kind of blending, kind of in the shape of a V or a triangle, okay? Like so. Same thing over here, just in the corner. And I'm kind of coming up a little bit and out. Just tap and then kind of shade it in the shape of a triangle here. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Like so. See? Just a little bit of drama, not a lot. Still looks really, really nice and really simple. See? So now I want to pop a little highlight up under the brow. And I like to use Optimistic. It's our ivory shimmer and it's a must have for anybody. So once again, actually let me use, let me use a, I have so many brushes here, seriously. Let me use a foam applicator. Foam applicators are really good for adding highlight. And I'm just gonna go up under the brow here And I'm just lightly applying, like so. All right. And I like to use Optimistic as highlight, like on my nose or 
on my cheek and I also like to apply just a little bit in the outer corner or the inner corner I'm sorry and it kind of wakes up your eyes it kind of brightens them up a little bit see just tap 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 you could use your finger too that also works see just like that and I'm done that's all I'm gonna do simple little look use two brushes and a foam applicator actually we have a very very nice um, an angled brush and it's got an angled fluffy brush on one side and it's got the foam applicator on the other you could totally use just this brush for the whole look very nice brush find all our brushes under tools but again I use discreet the nude matte all over the lid as a base and then I went in with gullible which is a medium brown all over the crease and then I used a flatter brush and I pressed on ANSI which is this like light tan shimmer and I just tap that on from the inner corner of the lid almost to the outer corner but not quite okay and make sure you get down by your lashes and then I went back in with more gullible and just added more in the outer corner here to darken that up and then I popped a little highlight the optimistic up under the brow and in the inner corner and I'm done this is my look for the day and this is an everyday look that you could wear pretty much like evening out work play even just staying home even just staying home if you want to just look good for yourself this is the kind of look that you you could do all right so now I'm gonna go underneath my eyeballs with some concealer I'm not gonna use a lot because like I said I just want to keep the look kind of light and what you want to do and I'm trying not to press too hard because I don't want to squirt out all over is just squeeze a little bit out in the shape of a triangle like that That's all you're doing just a little bit and I'm using a lighter color than my foundation this is the lightest color that you can get it's scarlet <laughs> I know I'm like plop too much out okay like so that's all you want to highlight and conceal all right and to blend I'm going to use my special little brush this is our powder concealer brush and it's got a fluffy end that I apply foundation with on one side and there's a littler end that I like to apply my concealer and I do my eyes first because if there's any fallout, I can clean up with my concealer like this. And you just kind of bring it down. Like I said, keep it in the shape of a triangle. You want to highlight the front part of your face here, not just underneath your eye. All right. And we have awesome concealer. This concealer will cover anything anything you want it to cover okay and then highlight under here just anywhere the light would naturally hit the front of your face and then the bridge of your nose and then come up and I'm not going to worry so much about up on my forehead because I have bangs but kind of feather it out up here and I like this little brush because it gets in between your brows and up above your brows. Like so. All right. Like so. And I've highlighted the front part of my face. So now I'm going to contour. Now you can use our contour stick, our sculpting stick, or I like to just use our beachfront bronzer. And we have three different shades. Um, we have one lighter. This is Hermosa. This is like the medium shade. I think Malibu 
is the lightest and sunset I think is the darkest one and you just suck it in and from the middle of your cheek up you're gonna add a shadow to represent a hollow in your cheek and what that does is it allows your upper cheekbone to look more prominent I have a round face so I like to do this and just go from the middle of the cheek up don't go all the way down to your mouth or you're going to look like the Joker. <laughs> Don't want that. And like I said, I have bangs, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But you kind of want to warm it up down the side of your face, up along your hairline. You're just warming it up. So it's not so boring looking. Don't look so pasty. All right. And if you have a large forehead, this is going to make your forehead appear smaller. I don't have too bad of a forehead. Oh my God, my bangs are driving me crazy. Seriously. Seriously. All right, so I have that done. So now I'm going to pop just a little color on the apples of my cheeks. I want a little rosiness right here. I've had this in October. It was a year since I got my starter kit. This is over a year old. And I've used it daily. You've seen me use it pretty much every live. And I'm just tapping it on. Just tap, tap, tap right here. And kind of feather it out a little bit like so all right and now I'm going to add my setting powder and I'm gonna blend everything I've done I'm gonna soften it up and it even kind of adds to I don't know I want to say Photoshop it hides things it's the best thing ever setting powder and it's going to take some of the shininess out of my brows from the setting wax. It's going to take the dewiness from my BB cream. And it's just going to help blend everything together and it's going to set it at the same time. See? Very, very nice. Love, love, love the setting powder. And it goes a long, long way. Long, long way. All right. Try to clean up here a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to do my lid. And I think I'm going to just keep with the, the kind of soft, neutral tones. And I'm going to use my brown liner and I'm going to get up close and personal excuse me and I'm going to start from the outer corner I'm looking at my phone and I'm just going to run across the top of the lash line like so and then I'm going to come kind of up in the water line a little bit and then I'm just going to meet it here in the middle like so Okay, once again, start in the outer corner, come across the upper lash line, like so, and then I come up in the water line, and then meet it in the middle. And make sure you get down by your lashes. You don't want to see a big gap there. And we have our pencil liner in all kinds of shades. And I'm not going to come all the way across. You could if you like that look. But I'm just going to kind of come down in the corner. I'm just going to darken it up in the corner here a little bit. Like so. I just feel if you come all the way across, it closes off your eye. And it doesn't make them look as big. So I just kind of like go like this. Done. All right. So now let's add some epic mascara. This is my favorite thing to do. 
and I need to look in a mirror when I do it. So I'm just going to use our cream foundation compact. Everything we sell pretty much comes with a mirror. I mean, even our little powdered luminizers have a mirror. It's kind of awesome, actually. So if you're on the go, you can just whip it out. Alright, Epic Mascara, if you're on the fence about trying anything Unique has to offer, get the Epic Mascara. You're going to fall in love with the Epic Mascara. Seriously. And a good hack is let it sit in warm water about five minutes before you apply. Really warm water. Just put your tube right in a little, a little bit of warm water in the glass. And what that's going to do, it's going to soften everything up in the tube because in the winter time, the climate is colder and things get a little stiffer, including me. <laughs> and if you want it to go on nice and even with less clumping and you want to use everything that's in the tube, put it in that warm water and it softens everything right up. Now I'm not using the waterproof, I'm using the water resistant, which is easy to take off with makeup remover or soap and water. But I'm telling you right now, this mascara is going to help you find your eyelashes that you didn't even know that you had for that. You can't see, but oh my gosh, love it. Love it. I've been using this mascara for over a year, and I have not used any other mascara. This is the only mascara I've used since October of last year. I don't want to use any other mascara because this is the greatest mascara ever. Get it on my website. Right now we have a bundle. You can choose... Let me see here. You can choose one of five fragrances that we have and these are big you can choose one of these and an epic mascara $59 for the two and this is signature um, fragrance it's really really good if you know of somebody you don't know what to get them get them a fragrance this one here is the pink bottle it's called with all my heart and it smells so good and it lasts so long these are regularly $50, okay? They're not cheap. They're a good fragrance. You're going to spend money. $50 on my website, and for nine extra dollars, you're going to get a $24 mascara. Give this as a gift. Keep this for yourself. Nice little bundle. You can find it on my website. All right. So I have my mascara on, and now what I want to do is I want to spray everything with my setting spray. This is going to set my eyes, my brows. It's going to allow all the powders that I've applied to my face mesh and combine. It smells good, it feels good, and it's not sticky like hairspray. Don't ask me what's in it. I have no idea, but I love it, and I will not go without it. All right, so after I apply my setting spray, I like to add a little highlight and I'm going to use our powder highlight this is offered in our December bundle you can choose the primer or one of our highlighters and just use a little fluffy brush this one here is benevolent this is kind of a, a nude like a little rosy gold highlight and just lightly apply it on your upper cheeks like so and then you want to apply it kind of on the end of your nose and the bridge of your nose if you have a long nose don't apply 
all the way up your nose, just here on the end. But yeah, just adds a little youthful glow, kind of come up here. And if you want, you can add a little hair, like so. All right, good stuff. So now, before I started applying my makeup, I put on a exfoliator. I got sucker punch lip stain on. And I'm telling you right now, I don't have any makeup remover wipes. And <laughs> that stuff stays on. If you are looking for a lip color, let's say you smoke, okay? And I know, I used to smoke. And it's hard to wear lipstick or anything because when you smoke, it comes off. Lip stain, seriously, it will not come off. You can drink through a straw, you can eat, you can do all kinds of things, and it will not come off. But the secret to adding stain is make sure your lips are exfoliated of dry skin and they're dry. You don't want any lip gloss or any chapstick or anything on there when you apply your stain. Today, I'm just going to add a little tinted gloss because my lips are dry and I just want a little bit of color. So I'm going to add this gloss. We have all kinds of colors to choose from. This is lovesick. It's like a little coral. It's got a little sparkle in it. And look, it has a mirror. All right. So you can apply your lip gloss wherever you're at like so and this feels so good and it's just got a little tint not a lot and there's all kinds of colors that you can choose from you can apply this over your stains over your lipsticks works really really well okay I think I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go and try to do something with this hair. And I'm gonna go help my sister set up her tablet. And then I gotta go to the bar and do some stuff and then work this afternoon. So go, go, go. All right, any questions on anything, make sure you comment or ask me. I will private message you. I will get in touch with you. Um, like I said, if you want anything that you see Make sure you order, if it's going to be a gift, make sure you order by this weekend. And I will be putting in a bulk order on Friday. So if you want to order anything and you don't want to pay shipping, let me know so that I can write it down and order it for you. And when it comes in, you can just pay me, okay? I can either mail it to you or you can just pick it up or I can just drop it off if you live in town. All right, I'm out. Have a good Monday. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow.